Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning to everyone. So we continue our third lab. Um, so today I will continue to uh, teach all of you uh, regarding on handling uh, control unit. This is inside the control room, right? This is control room. Okay. So in basically we have a computer which has been connected uh, to our uh, frequency converter using Ethernet Ethernet cable here we have Ethernet cables and then we also use a uh, picoscope for a certain uh, uh, condition or, or certain um, uh, activity uh, some, sometimes we interested to see the the wave shapes right because if you if we just use the control it will just uh, allow you to uh, to see the in terms of value value right? value so uh, yes as you can see there we have uh, we have eight slots, right? We have eight slots. So those slot it just appear as a numbering. Okay. Later on, I will I will teach you uh, what what is all about. I mean, all the slots and how it's uh, relates with the. Uh, uh, our measuring channels uh, as, as we have seen in, in a previous uh, lab session right and then uh, we will look and see uh, the criteria of uh, primary site I mean the moment we do any activity if we inject a certain level and then we can see the criteria of primary site and uh, so I will I will teach you or uh, everybody on setup for kit control. Then uh, we will uh, go through a little bit about the uh, picoscope. In principle, picoscope it's very similar like uh, it's very similar like an oscilloscope, normal oscilloscope, right? Uh, this is the device for the picoscope, and uh, here we have channels four channels and where basically all the channel is actually uh, from our generating or measuring uh, measuring section we will look and see the now okay now let's go inside the, the testing room now Last time, last time we have uh, we have done some uh, testing, but unfortunately, unfortunately, because of uh, the the because of the the video is not that good, right? So I I try to make it again. So then, uh, hopefully, this time will be better compared to. Uh, Previous week. Okay, anyway, so before we uh, always remember before we uh, start, this I forgot one important tools. The moment we get inside this room, guys, the moment we, I mean, every time when we go inside this room. Yes, I have recorded. 
I have recorded, yes, good. Now, please ensure every time when we get inside the testing room, we must use these stuff. Okay, you must use special glove. In principle, this special glove, it can sustain or it can withstand up to, up to 30 kV. So by right, you sh must be, I mean, every time when you want to do any uh, maintenance work, right? So, uh, once you have uh, reduced the voltage of your generator, then so you have earning, this is basically we have earned we have them using switching, yes, right, switching earth. So, by right, you should be safe once you touch any stuff around this uh, high tension, high stress uh, part or section. Of course, it is not practical to do that. <laughs> so, anytime, every time, every time when you you want to do any uh, maintenance things, I mean, or you want to change whatever. Any stuff, including the measuring, even though this is not that higher compared to this stress. So every time when you want to touch, so please ensure you use special glove, right? Basically, it is just uh, uh, rubber, special rubber, and then you can sustain up to the KV. So then, before you touch, so please. Do a double. I mean, implement double safety. I mean, you have to do discharge again. So we use a new rod. Okay. So please ensure every time when you want to use this one, you must the left hand. If this is, I mean, if you are a uh, right hand man, so. Right side, you have to hold like this, and your left side, your left hand, hold like that. Okay, and then ensure that the cable is not that close to you, and also you should not cross. Here we have a cable, right? You should not cross like that. So I will use this one for uh, maintenance work things, maintenance work, changing everything, whatever you like, then use this one. This is one. And very convenient compared to this one. Right? <laughs> this is not that convenient. I mean, uh, if you want to change the screw, change whatever, small stuff. Right? So it's good to use this one, the small one. Now, we will go detail one by one because last time we just only focus on uh, frequency converter, right? Now, okay, I changed my zoom area like that, and then I want to zoom a little bit or get it close like that. 
There's a moment. There's a moment. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, like that. Now, last time we just only focus on one. I mentioned just now. We just only focus on one cable, which is actually just only connected to frequency converter. This one. This cable. This one. And then, in order to uh, allow you to see the profile of the wave shapes, as I mentioned just now, you, we have to use oscilloscopes. Okay? So, it is possible, actually, it is possible by simply use three junction or T connector. T, B, and C connected. It's, it's, it's like T, right? And then there we have two female, okay? Two hole, eh? two hole, two female. And then we have male, one male. One male has to be connected to our banana adapter, B and C to banana, right? So just like that. Then this is. This is the coaxial cable for uh, picoscope. Okay, then just simply plug like that, and this is for the the frequency converter uh, <coughs> um, measuring uh, termination point, right? Okay, now, uh, so please double check. Make a little bit pulling test to ensure that you are plugging uh, in a proper manner. Okay, right? And then at the same time, please double check again. Remember that I have uh, taught all of you regarding on this adapter. We have we have here like that, right? Basically, here if you look if you look at this part. It's written as GND, stand for grounding, right? So please ensure the ear part has to be connected at the body of this stuff, this this enclosure, where this enclosure we have already connected to grounding, grounding braided cable, right? Remember last time I, I've taught you. Uh, then this is the inner part, inner which connected to all inner part of uh, each coaxial cable now just plug like that and then please also double check at this side I mean the side that we connected from the big capacitor 100 pico big capacitor 100 pico farad right so please ensure you try to, I mean, you do a uh, uh, pulling test as well, right? And then, once we have done, again, double check this one. And, I mean, just a moment, just a moment. Double check. I mean, this herding switch, herding switch must be touched proper at our top electrode. Okay. Now, basically, we have to. So remove this uh, fella, fe uh, fellow, this stuff. I mean, uh, you have the grounding rod. In our labs, we have already uh, decided the place for uh, our grounding. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, grounding rod, right? Basically, we have here. We have two. Why? Because we uh, purposely we, we do like this because uh, one rod is for instructor and another rod for 
for the student and eh? for those who would like to uh, to be a volunteer or try to to, to feel get the feeling right <laughs> get some experience using this uh, once you have done any things uh, injection things and then you have to do uh, <clears throat> uh, double safety rules right I mean you have to uh, discharge again now quickly we have a look here we have connected our uh, at, at my my right side is a frequency converter and at my left side is uh, cable that has been connected to our picoscope inside our uh, control room right so remember here we have six so two uh, these two channels vm and v2 right vm and v2 basically for vm1 we have two slot inside inside our uh, kit control Okay, slot basically it it's it's hold for uh, slot one and slot two and then here for slot two uh, slot three and four and then slot five slot six seven and eight so the rest I mean from three to six is for uh, 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 for DC okay so uh, well uh, you ask me <laughs> This is not that uh, good way, okay? You see, it's so messy. But actually, it, it's it may cause uh, hazardous situation, okay? So then you have to make sure that everything should under good condition. Cut to uh, Then you can avoid from any uh, stumble action from your friends or any silly stuff. Okay? Okay. This should be okay. This should be okay. Now we are ready to do the check. Let's get inside our control room, guys. Again, ensure uh, this door has to be, to be closed properly where you ensure that this ledge is activated when it's under closed condition. Then you will allow to, to make any injection. Okay, now. Right. Just a moment. I need to do some setup. Oh, I forgot to mention that we there is one thing that we have to consider is regarding on the the property of this secondary device. Okay, as you can see, here we have serial number, right? There we have serial number. So that serial number you should record. You should record and then you go and check in our manual book that this uh, value, the serial number value, must be tally with the manual book. Because inside our manual book we have three setup. Three setup according to three instrument of a secondary device. Okay? So for this one, for this device, the the serial number is actually this one. Okay, two two three four one zero oh, seven six zero oh, four dash zero oh, four. So for this uh, serial number, it has its uh, multiplier uh, constant or or so called the divider ratio. Remember last time I have ask you to explore about this stuff where this is actually uh, according to voltage divider rules right so I ask you to do some calculation and get ready perhaps that 
could be for your test, your lab test soon. Alright? So now remember this number 19651.1. So this number you must take notes and then use for your uh, measuring setup. I mean either for uh, it's either for your key control and also for your uh, ecoscope device. Okay, I'll teach you now. No, just a moment. <laughs> I need to remove my glove. I feel discomfort. Okay, guys. Now, what do you have to do now? First of all, you have to con focus on your main device, which is heat control. Okay, heat control. Perhaps I have to remove. Um, push it like that, and then. Okay. Hopefully this time will I mean you feel uh, convenient, very convenient. Eh? Okay, just now I I told all of you about the If you look at this one, zoom it up. Okay, now we can see clearly. Okay, over there we have six, six. Uh, I mean, at our frequency converter termination point, uh, uh, measuring termination point, or BNC termination point, we have seen there are six terminals, right? So VM one, VM two, until VM six. So VM1 and VM2 purposely for AC. Okay. So then we have VM1. Now we just uh, focus on VM1 because, because we, just, <laughs> we just connected at that particular point, right? So VM1 is actually for two slot. This two slot we have here two slot, right? Slot one and slot two. And then here we have slot three and four for VM2. And then here for VM3, mesh 3, right? Measuring 3, measuring 4, measuring 5, measuring 6. So this is for VM3, VM4, VM5, and VM6. Now, what to do next? Okay. You go to your... Uh, you have to... Okay, now we have seen that here we have alarm, right? So the moment we, it, when it's indicated red color meaning to say that you are not able you will not able to to do any uh, injection uh, you're not allowed to do injection things okay just a moment I... so now okay a little bit all right so then you have to clear how by reset by resetting this one just press reset and then it goes to green. We need to say that it should be under uh, good condition. You see, uh, now let, let me show some, some uh, demonstration. Why can change, right? Now I try to open the testing room door, okay? See what happens. Now, so the red alarm, now and they become red, red color, right? Red, red alarm. Meaning to say that there is something, there are there are there is something uh, uh, problem uh, exists in this particular uh, condition. Now, now we notice that the door is not closed properly. Even like like this one. Let's say if I activate uh, emergency button. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, now it show another another. Uh, condition like right? inter uh, emergency button you see you can see here emergency this is this is for emergency button so it wants 
So how to release everything? First of all, you have to uh, release the button, emergency button. Okay. And next, close the door properly. And finally, press the red button and reset. Press the reset button. Then it changed the green color, meaning to say that it should be ready. Now, we uh, we will look for the setup. So basically, we have two setup: FC setup and customer setup. So for FC setup, you don't need to you don't need to do anything for this one. This is basically a default setting that has been uh, done or set up by the manufacturing company. <clears throat> just just leave it like that. Just leave it like that. Okay, leave it as it is. Now you go to setup and then customer setup. Okay, here we have. We can see the the manual set step. Okay, so. Here we we can see we have we have prebet corporal and sergeant right <laughs> okay you see here we have we have prebet uh, constable eh? constable corporal and sergeant right so basically that one is I mean stand for manual step so for the constable the gain is zero point one. And then followed by the corporal. Yeah, corporal, we have uh, one gain one, and finally the the highest one, the the, the fastest, the fastest uh, step is uh, sergeant, and the gain is ten. And this one we just leave it as it is. You don't need to do anything about this one. And then we don't need to do any setup for. I mean, this is not our consideration for at this particular moment. Okay. Unless if we really uh, because because now we are we <laughs> we 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 we, we are dealing uh, online online uh, activity right so basically a lot of stuff that we unable to to play or, or experience so then just leave it this one uh, we don't need to know uh, in detail okay this one is very important this one is very important now. If you look at this one, I purposely I activate uh, two channels. Basically, AC here we have slot for AC channel one VM one, and this is uh, slot three and four for VM two. Okay, but since we just only we have used uh, slot one, then we just activate this one. So set V because we we interested to measure voltage. And then the calibration. This now I've mentioned right inside the manual book. So then you put this divider ratio or multiplier factor one nine six five one point one, right? And then click here. Click uh, this right button. Okay. Done. Then the moment you have set, uh, this is the most important. Uh, specifically for uh, customer setup okay remember this is actually for our secondary part or high voltage part okay so <clears throat> just imagine like this one i mean like like uh, so some example if you have uh, 10 10 volts so we need to say that if you I mean 10 volt basically you are not able to get 10 volt right because why because because your your system only limited to 7 volt vrms right so then that is a, the 7 volt rms is the highest one so if you want to check for instance if you have if you inject one one volt from uh, here Right from here, one volt. For instance, you press this one, one. I mean the corporal, then you will get one volt from here. So one means that the voltage is nineteen point six five one one. We will look and see just later on. Okay. Then press shift setting. Okay. 
tick sometimes. Okay, anyhow, I don't need to, to press because we have already set up this one. Okay, anyhow, but we can, you can do, uh, name it like, for example, 5 January 2020. Uh, uh, sorry. January 2020, right? VE, eh? Insyaallah, 2021 lah. <laughs> Okay, B E E I for for it to be right. Tapi pasti ya. Tapi lah, B E I cukup lah. Okay, let them press okay. So meaning that is it's 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 ready. Yeah, I mean this setup is ready for the next action. Oh, just now we have seen right alarm it changed the alarm because we, we do some some changes then it activate right so in every time remember every time when alarm is red color then you go to reset button and everything will be okay now we change the green color okay next is for uh our ecoscope Don't move, please, guys. Please don't move. Okay, <laughs> okay. Every time when uh, okay, this is labeled as uh, keep control three hundred eh? because of because th this brand is uh, is uh, written as uh, picoscope three thousand three thousand. Eh? Here we have two set two units of picoscope. We have four thousand and three thousand. Uh, okay, the. I mean, basically, the, the, the serial number uh, stand for uh, capability of a certain range of voltage. For for instance, and this one it can goes up to twenty, but for four thousand, four thousand it can goes to a uh, hundred something like that. Okay, uh, okay. Now, what is the important things that need to be considered for? Picoscope. First is about acquisition sample. Acquisition sample, right? So basically, this is stand for uh, this number of sampling. So if you have like for instance zero to hundred k, we need to say that for the whole unit for the whole duration it consists of one hundred kilo dot sample. Okay, dot. I mean point. Sample, sampling point perhaps I can show you something here uh, pin why, why don't you use pin this is better right like in our class we use pin right okay for instance let's say we have um, sinusoidal signal like that uh, <clears throat> basically what, what actually exclusion sample do is it discrete 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 yeah. You slice it. You just imagine like you have your, you have your onion, right? You have your onion, and then you make it slice, very thin slice, and then each slicing. I mean, each slice, each is actually stand for the point. I mean, each 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 discrete stand for points. Of the sample, so for one period of time, in principle, we have one hundred kilo 
sample okay. 100 kilo points right? point point of discrete like that so the moment you have high sampling points then the ships will be better okay anyhow this is the highest for this particular apicoscope uh, 100k is very high uh, the, the, the highest i mean the, the highest the highest point so basically it's sufficient for uh, visualize or to do any kind of monitoring or measuring uh, things okay and then here we have uh, interval so basically interval stand for the accuracy the accuracy of your measurement so basically let me zoom a little bit basically if we have let me change the color a little this one and make it a little bit okay if you focus on this here we have two points right so this two point is actually small discrepancy is actually your resolution okay your resolution this one sampling interval which is taken from two points okay so in this particular case it it uh, it takes from 5 micro to 15 micro farad okay okay just leave it like that we, we just we just I, I don't want to play with this one but uh, of course, if you are here, I'm sure I, I will test. I will test everyone. <laughs> okay, later on we'll look and see what will happen if you if we change the, the, the this value smaller and then what will happen to your graph. We'll see, look and see. All right, guys. The next trigger setting. This is this is purposely for uh, triggering, uh, such as um, impulse. Okay, impulse. We have impulse. We have impulse uh, generator, right? So, so it purposely used to to <clears throat> to capture this kind of uh, signal. Then you you need to do some setup. You need to active trigger active and then impulse, which means that you have to set some um, i mean you have to postulate some values you have to assume some uh, threshold level yeah if we have if we have time inshallah i will try to uh, show all of you next uh, please active the channels here basically we have channel a b c and d why because here we because in our picoscope because in our picoscope here we have a b c d channels right so therefore we need to I mean in the system here as well we should have uh, that uh, special uh, I mean I mean we, we, we have a special tab to stand for each channels right now what's next okay here you have to make sure that this channel must be activated okay and then we have coupling so in this particular case, we are interested to see AC signal. Therefore, you have to active your AC coupling. Okay. And next, we have auto range. I'm not uh, encourage all of you to use uh, auto range. Of course, it's 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 uh, useful for a certain uh, situation. But in, uh, for this particular, I mean, for this uh, at, at, at this beginner uh, uh, learn, learning. Uh, process is better to use uh, this one I mean you don't have to activate auto range okay uh, at the beginning you try to preset uh, I mean from hundred. of course we can you can set 100 mega millis volts to mini volt right so you, you see you you can, you can see if you set one foot and here the limitation is about from zero to one at the positive uh, polarity as well as uh, negative polarity you could have zero to minus one okay so if you change to 10 therefore you can have 
ability to measure the, the ten changes from uh, minus 10 to 10 okay so this is basically for your peak right your peak amplitude right basically you can see the either from positive side or negative side as well so now you can see here we have divider ratio yeah divider ratio so set as similar in this kit control right we have set 19651.1 so similarly for this one so put this uh, divider number properly so offset offset means if you set uh, say for instance two what will happen next see so your trace line it will it will change or move to two okay? if you set minus one then it will go like that minus one okay so at this beginning lesson so we set zero okay of course if there are certain uh, certain case uh, you need to perhaps you want to separate for uh, two or more more or more uh, two signal right then you need to do like that particular setup all right all right now you can see here we have ac tab dc tab in the bar so this uh, this lesson we, we will uh, uh, only focus for AC tab, right? So in AC tab we have RMS, RMC, peak. <laughs> Can you differentiate what 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 is the difference between RMS V, RMC V? This is basically stand for capacitor, okay? And then we have peak square root of two. <laughs> is it? We have like this. So what is the difference between those two? RMS. Uh, please answer. I will ask you <laughs> this question, and I will, I'm sure I will give you a handout here because in this uh, kit lab measuring uh, unit, it, it's also have uh, <coughs> notes that I will sure I will, I will share with all of you. Now we have frequency, and then we have uh, total harmonic distortion and the uh, distortion uh, factor. Where we we just keep it. We don't have to. Uh, well, basically, it is. It tells about the efficiency uh, property. Be, 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 perhaps some. Perhaps we could. I mean, our our real signal inside this uh, building may have. Uh, I mean, associated by a certain distortion, right? So, so. Fortunately, we can see we can see we can see that kind of profile as well. In this uh, our uh, picoscope, right? So, we will oh, before we test before we test, and then we have to activate another uh, point here. We, you may, may, must ensure that you activate this this point, this button, channel A, and then click A C. If you test for DC, then you click D C. Okay. For impulse, then click the impulse. So here we, today we, we test for EC. <coughs> so every time when you want to be to start, so please press this button. Please start. Okay. So we can do now. Let's try. So first, oh, so for that. Uh, just a moment. Okay, minimum scale. Now we reach to the minimum scale. <laughs> okay, so then you press this button, power button. You see, when I press, what will happen? Can you hear some, some, some sound like that? Right? Meaning to say that it's already active the contact, contact from the system of uh, frequency converter and our power source that that particular connector has been connected okay that's why we can hear like that now what will happen if you press ready ah i see uh, just a moment uh, you can see the lamp the lamp will be changed oh the element let me press once again you see it changed the red color 
and at the same time you can hear some sound there over there all right let me try uh, press once again you see our earning switch also activate i mean open under open condition but if we if we, if you just uh, uh press the ready button without holding it i mean if you don't press some uh, another second second button yes? uh, sorry there's just one uh, just now we press power right that one is the first button and then we press ready right we press first button power and then ready and then if you just leave it like that i mean press the ready button without active active another button and then the switching earning switch will uh, switch off so why okay that's also considered as a um, as a safety safety or precaution to ensure that everything is under control you must check again perhaps your cats or some uh, or uh, your friends uh, inside the testing room right so then you have you still have a chance to uh, acknowledge them that now i'm going to do a testing so please ensure you get out from our testing room okay so everything is about double safety uh, precaution uh, in uh, in high voltage lab okay now we can set, we can ready now okay let me press this ready button ready and then immediately you go to ah you can see the sounding right uh, the moment you press the moment you press hv on you can see we can see this one clearly here right hv on maybe because of the light is uh, brighter and then uh, I am not so sure why we can't see we can't see here. Uh, okay, let me stop. Then you can see. Oh, still HV on. Can you see HV on? Okay, stop. Okay lah. Basically here we have uh, HV on eh? and then we have symbol um, flash. Dekat sini eh? ada flash. Flash symbol and HV on. Okay. Tak nampak sebabnya dia blur kat situ. Saya pun tak tahu nak cakap macam mana. Tak apalah. Tapi saya nak kita we have here we have three button power ready and HV on, and then here we have stop button, okay, and then here uh, power off. I mean everything will, will will shut down. The whole system will be shut down, okay. If we press the power off, okay. Now let's try it once again. Press ready, and then it will be give about seven seconds, and then you immediately press. Can uh, then we can hear? Okay, you can see over there our light change from green to red color meaning to say that nobody is allowed to get inside the testing room okay now we are ready we are ready guys we are ready guys just a moment <laughs> i want to, to change the uh, orientation of this uh, uh, stuff <laughs> Hold mal, I use hold mal. <laughs> okay, can we zoom it a little bit? Okay, once more. Once more, guys. Okay, I think this is this is okay. Now, uh, okay, as you can see in this display, here we have source voltage, right? It changed always change why because because of our signal is not consistent and then associated by many many kinds of uh, noise we have background noise because in our power supply also i mean naturally it's composed contain of background noise generated by our power supply noise you can see here this is very nice you keep you see we it's allow you to see a background noise 
20.20.20 whatever lah 20 millivolt 20 millivolt basically if you use um, similar things like uh, lightning people uh, do uh, I will show you a little bit just, just a moment I will show you I will show you for those who uh, deal with the uh, lightning project Bazlan ke and Shafiq ke then I'm sure they know they know a lot. Okay, I'll I'll show you something. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. 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 let one around our, our, our lives, <laughs> real life. Okay. Let's say you have a sensor, sensor that has been used by many many lightning researcher. Basically, it is about dipole, two plates. You have positive plate and negative plate. Very simple. And then, of course, you need to have uh, buffer. You need to have buffer. Why? Because this buffer basically. It's allow the signal, whatever kind of signal around this space to get in the system that can be measured. Okay, using all the This is extra. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. So this buffer at the same time you can tune it into a certain interest frequency. For instance, you want to have low frequency up to high frequency for instance 10 hertz up to 3 33 megahertz for instance In our uh, system over there, we can see we can see that particular profile. So that's very interesting. This is uh, stuff, right? Now, okay, guys, we can start. Let's start from oh, uh, Sergeant lah. I press Sergeant. Eh, what will what will we we'll see if we press Sergeant? Ah, I see. You can see the spike over there, and then at the same time, we can, we actually activate our picoscope, and over there we have seen the signal of your sinusoidal, right? Here in uh, this uh, RMS slot, it shows ten point nine kilo, and then the RMC uh, root mean capacitor, root mean square, okay, root mean capacitor. <laughs> Oh, try this figure out what, what this is all the things about okay and then we have peak divided by square root of 2 square root of 2 yeah and then here we have 12 okay it shows some uh not just peculiar but uh, some small uh, some, some changes right some different different sorry changes but different eh and then in our system, this is this are this is a, from our frequency converter, right? We have seen eleven point one something like that, which is slightly 
or basically we can say it's very similar with these RMS values. Yeah. Oh sorry, sorry, uh, peak peak value. Yeah. Okay, so basically we have done. We mean we 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 able to see a high voltage, eleven kV. For eleven kV at our primary side we have forty six point seven three, and the current at our primary side is one seven blah blah blah. And then what happened to our current at our secondary side? <laughs> Then we need to have another tools. Okay, we need to have another tools. Um, basically, it it is like a resistor, and then from there, it change to some value of voltage. Uh, then you need to do some modification. I mean, you need to calculate. Uh, which basically, if you get that voltage, you have to divide it by uh, the the resistance value. Tak boleh faham ni saya cakap ni Macam-macam <laughs> ni Maksud saya macam ni Basically Picoscope right? Picoscope Or oscilloscope Or whatever kind of scope 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 It just only allow you To Measure Potential Basically potential yeah? Potential Itu je peranan Basically Oscilloscope ni yeah? Then How to ensure that you uh, Able To Measure current. Then you need another stuff. I mean, you need to have a resistor. Okay, resistor. Of course, you need to know uh, exactly the value of the resistor as well. <laughs> Okay, resistor ni, you need to know the, the value lah So for instance, if you have 10 volt and, and 10 volt, right? Okay, 10 volt So if you get some value from here Of course, it will show some reduction uh, Sorry, it should, you should have some more Some reduction Right, some reduction and also, uh, I mean, if you just focus on this part, then you, of course, your voltage is will be different. Then you use this uh, relationship to get the current. Then you, you will get, you will able to see the secondary uh, current from the so yeah, yeah this is the secondary current yeah, from from the secondary uh, section of part. Okay, now, uh, so you can see the in this particular instrument, uh, it's allowed you to see the, the profile of, it's show maintain, right? Continuously maintain uh, with, with uh, this particular value, 46.9 or something like that. Now, you, if you increase more, second step of uh, sergeant, then you get the value also increase, right? Similarly for this one, because scope so because scope so increase, right? I increase more. Now become three uh, three step. So we have achieved thirty three kV, right? Here so we have uh, close to uh, our RMS value at our frequency converter. So basically, it's, it's yeah have some discrepancy lah, right? Then. Uh, uh, I want you to explore why this discrepancy come into picture. Please, please, eh, guys, eh, do some uh, homework. Uh, yeah, just now I, I told you that I want to show you what will happen if we do some change. What will happen if we change to 10K? You see? Ah, now your graph become... <coughs> I mean, it's like a zoom, right? Expand. It, it, it's expand at a certain range. Right. So if you tap, click here, and then you show similar, like, like what we have seen. But if you look carefully, here we have the some rough, right? Rough. Each point, it shows rough. 
connection between with, between each other then what will happen if you set the gain 100 kilo let me click here now we show smooth right, compared to just now so that is the property of uh, the sampling and yeah? why we why 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 we need to have uh, sampling and then at the same time uh, it has some trade-off uh, for instance if you uh, interested to set a higher length of your recording system and then at the same time the acquisition sample was will reduce it will not allow you to get higher that is a uh, common uh, microscope uh, or in, in oscilloscope okay well i think that's all for today and i will i will uh, give some results i will take some results okay i will take some results and i will share all of to, to all of you to do uh, exploration and eh? to do some uh, tasks uh, inshallah i will give you uh, as soon as possible uh, this week uh, Perhaps you want to see him once, once, once again. I will, I will show you. This is 40, 50. This is 60 kV. Here we have 70 kV. Here we have 80 kV. And now it's 90. Now you can see the sounding. Mm, you see the sound? But that tadu dukasi ni macam dah So now I reduce, I reduce, I reduce. Uh, well, of course we we have ability to. To inject uh, 100 kV uh, for our labs. Uh, before that, before that, uh, I will show you quickly about uh, things that you have to prepare for your. Before that, every time <laughs> I I could also make fault. <laughs> so every time when you have done, please ensure you click many times, many times like that at your. Uh, negative, negative sergeant. <laughs> no, negative side, uh, negative side. Uh, this one, and you reduce you, reduce your, your your voltage, reduce. So ensure it's very small, and then you can activate your editing switch. Now let's see, let's see. I will, I will touch, I will, I will press, I will press down and HV off this one. Okay, you see that switch. Uh, now everything is done good condition at your uh, uh, testing room but again please remember like what I have shown you earlier uh, the procedure must be followed I mean you have to do second second time for uh, uh, discharge uh, the remaining charge uh, from our uh, <coughs> testing generation stuff over there even though we, here we can see the voltage is it's not yeah hey, hi you see this we are very lucky today you see from our oscilloscope ah you see the remaining charge is still there remaining charge is still there you see it's about kv <laughs> i'm sure any one of you if touch any high stress high stress stuff even though if you uh i mean touch any any secondary uh, compartment i'm i'm re pretty sure you can you will get shock uh, and how it depends on your body as well and it depends on on your 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 body if for instance if our uh, environment or our condition in this lab is cool and your body is uh, a little bit hot uh, inshallah inshallah you will get shock uh, okay guys eh? okay before that uh, before we go inside the, this room I want to show you uh, about uh, uh, testing uh, calibration testing okay uh, about the testing schedule yeah, or, or calibration schedule okay uh so based on our secondary device because uh, secondary because because here we use this one right we use uh, with this particular serial number 
the rest is the same either, except that this one. So, so for each uh, secondary device may have a different different uh, ratio. Okay, so, but anyhow, it's not that uh, the the discrepancy I mean between those uh, secondary devices is not that big. Eh? Uh, still, uh, I mean, acceptable. All right. Now, if you look at this one, what I want you to do is uh, you have to create this like similar like this table. Okay. Here we have output voltage. 10%, 25%, right, 50%. Just now we, we can see from our uh, uh, kit control, right, we can see the, the percentage. The, mo the, the, the moment you press the, uh, either playback, ke, corporal, or sergeant, then it will show it, it will display the, the percentage, right? Okay. And at the same time, let's say if you press uh, sergeant, basically this one is sergeant, lah, 10, get 10, kan? And then you will get uh, around 10 RMS like that. And then display RMS. Right. And then here, error is actually basically the, the calculation, uh, error calculation uh, by comparing the display. Display is basically from Picoscope. Eh? Display and the reference. So this reference is basically from the, uh, what do you call it, the kit control. Okay, so I want you to do a similar things like this one. Okay, again here also we have a peak, right? Peak, peak also we have like that. Then I want I want all of you to do similar like this table. Please look at this very careful. Okay, very careful. Okay, then please calculate the error. Okay. How? Okay, please study. <laughs> please study. Because you have, you have learned this long, long time ago, right? So I want you to do a similar like this. Uh, since we have this reference, right? So please do some little bit exercise lah, kan? Uh, kan? Uh, basically, alah, takkanlah saya nak tunjuk benda ni, kan? Boleh, simple je ni, kan? Uh, macam mana tentukan error? Of course, it must be a, di a discrepancy between these two. The difference between these two, and then you uh, get the percentage, right? And then you will get the error. Uh, tapi cuba cuba buat cuba buat cuba buat eh. Maksudnya result based on result the new result that will I will give uh, all of you. Uh, I mean I mean I will share in our you learn uh, later on. Inshallah very uh, soon as possible. Then uh, you please uh, redo redo like this table. And calculate whatever uh, important stuff uh, in the instruction. So, okay, now quickly we do. We need to do some uh, activity inside. The the final activity inside this room. Remember, don't get close. Please make sure every time you go inside this uh, testing room, you must make sure you you try to make. Uh, Avoid to get close uh, to our generator. Uh, very similar like Corona lah, eh? Corona. Corona, this is one meter distance. Eh? Uh, okay. Eh? Right. Then, what to do next? Eh, bagi dia ni jap, stable jap. Cik punya benda ni. Dia macam tak nak stable. So, use this glove. Latex glove. Which can stand 30 kb.
So please remember these precaution things, this uh, uh, procedure must be followed. Now, inshallah. Right? That's all for me, from, from me today. So we will continue, inshallah, for the last uh, lab 4 section, right? Uh, DC, I will demonstrate for DC. Thank you.